what a crazy winter we've had here in my Modesto, California, Zone 9B tropical garden. It hasn't felt very tropical, and to be honest with you, <laughs> we're not really in the tropics. We're kind of in the subtropics here, uh, or Mediterranean climate, as a lot of people like to call it. Um, but yeah, we um, just have had a crazy winter. We did have a couple of freezes, and my lowest being 28 degrees. And there's been a few uh, casualties, uh, mainly not because of the 28 degree low we had, but because of the cold, wet winter and heavy winds. We're going to take a look at my uh, Sab Sabra Jaboticaba, but first, if you like this channel, if you like growing tropical, exotic fruit trees in a marginal climate, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, comments and questions, leave them in the comments section below. So let's walk over to my Sabra Jaboticaba and we'll take a look and see how it's done over this winter. So we had so much rain and wind. It's just absolutely crazy that we were in a drought um, at the beginning of the year and now we have record rainfall. But that's just the way California is. Uh, we're more of a problem with uh, water storage than we are with um, with actual rainfall in any given year. But yeah, we've had, I think we're up to about 20 inches of rain here where we're normally up to about 12. And it has taken a toll, not so much on this beautiful Sabra Jaboticaba, which will be flowering pretty soon. But as you can see, my poor... My poor sapodilla, it just, even before the freeze, it, it, it had, was growing so good. And then all of a sudden, I think it got a taste of fungus or something. And it just is, there's a little bit of green on it. But yeah, then when the freeze hit, it got a little more damage. And I just don't know how well it's going to do. It's only the first winter in the ground. And, or actually, I think it's the second winter. Because I bought it as a uh, about a two foot or three footer, but it, I, I'm gonna have to if it dies, I'll I'll put another one in probably in a different spot because for some reason it's just not liking this, and they should be able to take our cold, but yeah, my sapodilla not looking good. Now my uh, my pineapples they're just doing fine. They they're all doing fine, and uh, this new type of uh, banana tree that I got, Vincente Cohel or whatever, it seems to be doing good. You can see that our temperatures weren't really too harsh because uh, where that's touching the wall, it's doing, it's not frozen. But let's take a quick look at my Jaboticaba and it's just starting to get these little guys, they, these little spots that turn into flower buds. It's just starting. It needs a little bit more warmer weather. But as you can see, I love the beautiful flakiness of this Jaboticaba and it is getting thick. I mean, those of you that have been following my uh, videos, Jaboticaba videos, you, you know that this guy was really, has doubled in size in the last two or three years. Take a look, no damage, 28 degrees didn't damage. The wind did blow some of the uh, leaves on the top off because we've had 45, 50 mile an hour winds. But for the most part, it's doing wonderful. And it will be producing probably in about a month or so. Normally we would have gotten a, a fruit uh, in, I believe April, but <clears throat> we are very low. Our temperatures have been very low and it just hasn't, it hasn't warmed up enough for it to uh, flower, but it will. Uh, as you can see, some of my uh, my banana trees, as always, the leaves freeze off of it. But take a look at how I uh, I prune these things back. I always leave the center undamaged, and they regrow every winter. Or, excuse me, every spring. This one, this is this is the Azorian one. That one's a new one that I put in the ground, the uh, Raja Puri, and it's doing very well. And as you can see, there's my uh, cherimoya. It's putting out, walk over here. It's putting out new buds. Cherimoyas are much more hardy than most people realize uh, once they're established. And this guy's established. They normally look kind of ratty this time of year because they go, they're semi-deciduous. But as you can see, right here, we're putting out a new, new buds. 
and there's my young uh my young lychee mauritius lychee it's doing wonderful it just it's doing just fine considering it's first time in the in first year in the ground and there's my uh other mauritius lychee darn thing just the it was just battered by the wind lychee trees are very brittle and uh that darn thing probably lost half of its half of its branches so that's pretty much it um yeah i'm sad to say that my sapodilla is not looking too good but hey that's just the way things go my name is jeff if you like this channel make sure to hit that like and subscribe button don't forget to hit that notification bell comments and questions leave them in the comment section below i'll be putting out a lot more videos i know it's been a while since i put out videos but with this weather it's just been horrible you have a wonderful day